Ever since I was younger, I was into video games. Somebody like the views so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes. Big day, Tata. What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another beer review. Uh, we're going old school West Coast beer in this review. West Side, West High Heat, West Side or Rider. Um, we are checking out the one. I'm going to say the one and the only. Is this a re-review? This is a re-review on my channel, but the private channel has never reviewed this. This is Pliny the Elder because we need to cleanse our palates. Known as previously the number one rated double IPA in the world. Uh, this was originally my favorite double IPA mm -hmm. before I uh, learned of Treehouse and the magic that was green. Mm -hmm. So uh, this is, I think, 8%. Yeah, 8% alcohol, alcohol by volume, double IPA, Russian River Brewing, Santa Rosa, California. This was bottled on July 28th. Wow. Week old? This is eight days old. Yeah. So everyone, all the fucking beer nerds online say that you have to drink Pliny within like two weeks. So there you go. I don't agree with that, but whatever. Um, this was like my, I want to say this was like my 19th beer review. Really? Yeah. Thanks. And it was Hunnitz. This yeah. used to be my favorite double IPA. So um, Lane brought this one over. So thank you, sir. Thank you, Lane. For... Uh, bringing this one. I love this beer. I'm just gonna say it. So hopefully I, it's been a while since I've had Pliny We're doing boss pours Hydrating yeah, we're hydrating. Um, yeah, it, like I said, it was a hundred out of a hundred when I rated it last time I Smell it. This is my I think this is my most checked in beer on untapped. Really? Yep. Well done. A shit ton of Pliny I've drank in my life. I love, love, love this beer. So, um, like I said, it's been a while since I've had it, and I've been a total New England style beer fanboy since I've had it last, mm -hmm. I think. So, interesting to see what I think about this one. Let's do the damn thing. Yeah, it's eight days old. So, there's a little chill haze on that, but it's crystal clear. Yeah. Like, I can see the other side of the treehouse. Like just deco. golden straw. Yeah. Um, just a ton of little bubbles streaming up to the top of the glass. What is that? It's just like a half a finger of bright. It's just soapy. Really soapy. Soapy, soapy head. Yeah. But good glass lacing. Like, uh, the way I always attribute like good glass lacing just tells me it's a really, it's a good, well-made beer. Mm -hmm. And according to our friend John, fresh Pliny is tits. It's tits. On draft. Not, maybe not bottle. So, um, I'm like, I just remember this being super dank, floral, resinous. So. Like the epitome of the West this Coast is, style. This is like, yeah, this is, if you like West Coast style beers, this is yeah. the West Coast You looked style it up beer, in the yeah. dictionary, Pliny's on the Pliny is it. Yeah. I think this is the same recipe since 2001. Which is impressive. 15 years of consistency. Yeah. So, let's go and jump our nose in it. That smells like the stickiest of the icky. Sticky it's icky. Dang, dude. Big grapefruit. Yeah. Big grapefruit. Grapefruit peel. Grapefruit yeah. pith. Like, it's resinous as fuck. Like if you just took grapefruit and just like bit into the peel like without cutting it up. Or yeah. Uh, Pizza Port does a one-off that you can get on draft called Grapefruit Puncher. Okay. Kind of reminds me of this. It is grapefruit pith, grapefruit peel, dank, earthy, resinous. Yeah. Um, and you get that killer, like, malty kind of yeah. backbone. And there's, like, a nice, like, uh, um, it's not as artificial as that beer, but, like, grapefruit sculpting, uh -huh. kind of that note, but not as artificial. Like, that almost just tastes like grapefruit juice. Yeah. This is, a, like, a bitter. Mm -hmm. Sculpin, though, is dank and resinous, too. Like, all this those is, beers. This is really, this is, like, really resinous. Like, like big resin. This would have been fun to drink uh, next to Are You Afraid of the Dank that we drank last night. Yeah, you this know? is not quite as dank. Um, I don't know how, it's hard to describe for me the difference between, like, like I smelled like a bag of, like, fresh pot right. dank and, like, resin. Right. Um, this is a little bit more resinous. A little, like, sugary lemongrass, maybe. <laughs> God damn it. You had to do that. <laughs> uh, yeah. It's really resinous, though. <laughs> it's dank and resinous. Ah, <laughs> oh, man. The life of a beer reviewer. But this, I mean, if you were if you were to, like, go, like, if you were getting into IPAs and you were, like, I love, like, that West Coast, like, Sculpin, I, like... Even like a Lagunitas, like, um, what is the their double? Um, sucks? Yeah, sucks. And like Stone those IPA? Yeah, just like big, bitter, like white peel, like pithy. It's that style. It's and fun, dude. Like, smelling this brings me back to when I moved back to San Diego five mm -hmm. years ago and like I was on a quest to have Pliny. Yeah. And like I found it. Mm -hmm. Like, this brings back awesome memories. Yeah. Like, smelling this is fun. 
because it's so fresh. And it reminds me, like the first time I had this beer, it blew my it blew my mind. It reminded me of like pure hoppiness from mm-hmm. Alpine Duet is like that dank kind yeah. of thing. All those I, big West Coast beers. And as I'm smelling it more, I'm almost getting like that. If you stood up next to a pine tree and like mm-hmm. just smelled in like the spruce. Yeah, it's like sprucey pine cones. Yeah, I've, it smells awesome. I'm anxious. Cheers. Thanks, Lane. Thanks, Lane. Appreciate it, bruh. Oh yeah. It is. This is like when you like when you were in college for a couple of years and you went back home and like hung out with all your old friends. Yeah, <laughs> that's this. That's the train track. I still love this. Ooh wee. It is. It is bitter. It sits on your tongue. Mm-hmm. It's resinous. Yeah. It's earthy. It's lemon juice. It's grapefruit peel. Lemon. Ju- like you hit it perfect. Lemon juice. Mm-hmm. Grapefruit pith. It's like hoppy sp- as fuck. Spruce. Like it's- it is so hoppy. This. I do. I, I still love this beer. I can go crazy over New England style juice bombs, but just at the end of the day, this is the beer that I fell in love with. Yeah, it's killer. This is fucking awesome. It's the OG. It is. It's. I, I always <clears throat> enjoy drinking beers like this, like going back and doing ones that haven't changed, that are still as good as they were. Yep. Um, for me, it wasn't this beer. It was Hop Slam. The problem is this Hop Slam has just gotten to be trash. It's Malt Slam now. Uh, it's... It is Malt Slam. Right. Whereas, but you go back and you drink this and like, this tastes as good as the first time I had it, it like does. five years ago. It does. Yeah. This reminds me, like, I went to California Extreme three years ago with my buddy Todd and he went to Russian River the night before I met him and we had one day old Pliny and this reminds me of that. Yep. It's fucking awesome. It's just that in your face, if you love hops in a glass beer. It's, it, it's the clinical definition of a double IPA. Yep. Like... Everything you want out of a double IPA, this has got it. Yep. And the funny thing is, is like people on in New England on the East Coast would it, people who love Treehouse and Trillium, they'd probably drink this and go like, "This is too much. It's not good." Yeah. But this is without this beer, you wouldn't have Trillium and you wouldn't have Treehouse exactly. and you wouldn't have any of those beers. Like this is the beer that started everyone wanting to make more hoppy beers. Yeah. This beer is fucking awesome. It's it's this is this is to double IPAs and IPAs is what Bourbon County is to stouts. Yep. Like it changed the game. It really did. You're right. And I just, I hate, I don't, I don't hate it. It's Everyone has their own opinion and their taste, but when I see reviews of people going like, this isn't as good as it used to be, this isn't what I remember. Oh. I don't know what it used to be to you and what you remember. This is the exact fucking same beer that I yeah. drank five, six years ago this that I fell in love with. It's yeah. awesome. I agree. It's, this is the best West Coast style, old school, like dank, resinous, in your face mm-hmm. beer that there is. It reminds me of like drinking fresh swamis. Like all those old school just like back in the day recipes. Yep. This is awesome. I'll actually be curious to see what happens with this now that Russian River is finally expanding um, and building a bigger brewery. Are they doing that? Mm-hmm. Are they? Yeah. I'll be curious to see how that changes all this. Mm-hmm. What would you say grade wise for this? It's hard, right? So it's like if you go like five years ago me would be like this Hundreds. Hundreds. Um, I mean, it's still an A plus beer. It's probably I'm probably paying it like ninety eight. Ninety eight. It's it's killer. It, like I said, if you're if you're grading West Coast IPAs, it's a hundred. Mm-hmm. It doesn't have the jogging of the memory that it does for you because for me it was a different beer. Right. So like if Hop Slam was re released and was as good as it used to be, it would kind of. I'd probably be like, this is fucking. Yep. Drop the mic. Yep. So for me, I mean, this. It it does. It reminds me of like the good old days before I was chasing like the next awesome beer. Yep. Like before beer got kind of stupid and like I wanted to trade for a bunch of stuff. This reminds me of like when I moved back down here and I just wanted great beer and I had this. So for me, I gave it a hundred my last review. It's still a hundred for me for West Coast yep. style beer. It is. It tugs at my heartstrings. I love this beer. I get it. And I'm not going to be that person who's like, well, if you compare it to Green or Julius, it's not the same beer. It's different. It's, it's completely different. It's so. a different style. You can. It, that's the thing that people do now, right? Yep. And and we're probably guilty of it. Yeah. It's okay. So it's an IPA. So I rank it against other IPAs. This is a different style of beer. Yep. This brings me back to a fucking awesome place, yeah. and I love that I got to drink this at eight days old today. So, for me, it's still a hundred. This is one of the quintessential West Coast style IPAs. If and if never, you don't like that style anymore, then this isn't for you. But if you're getting into IPAs and you've never had this beer, fucking get yeah, it. try it. You have to get your hands on this. And the cool part is, is like you'll see people who go and get a bunch of Treehouse and Trillium beers, and they'll when they want to trade, they're like, I've never had Pliny before. Yeah. 
definitely check it out. Yeah, it's completely different than anything that you know from the New England style. Absolutely. So if you if you're just into that New England style and that's all you like, you probably won't like this beer. But if you're one of those original kind of IPA drinkers, yeah. this beer is fucking amazing. It's the pinnacle of the OG style. <laughs> totally agree. I love this beer still. So that is Pliny the Elder. Uh, not much more needs to be said about this beer. So, if you've had it, leave a comment below, and I'm sure we'll get a bunch of comments saying I've had that recently, and that beer fucking sucks now. Too. So, you, that's fine. If that's how you feel, that's how you feel. But we on the west side. The, this is a memory. Like this beer, it was. It was a memory maker for me back then, and it brings me right back to that awesome place. So, yep. It feels like Christmas morning, Lane. <laughs> Thanks for sharing this one. <laughs> so yeah uh, I can't believe I'm going to say this but we have more uh, videos to shoot so no fucking way <laughs> we will see you guys Actually, very very soon we, can you even see that can you see a sport no you can't see can't. it spoiler, spoiler alert. alert there's some other beers coming <laughs> ever since I was younger I was into video games somebody like the fuse so I can bring bad news to all these crews who can't NBA jam with the shoes